The small settlement of Pai Kakariki sits by the sea, half an hour's drive north of Wellington. In the past, it served as a major base for thousands of US Marines who were fighting in the Pacific. There were three main camps, all around the present-day Queen Elizabeth Park. At the height of the occupation, there were over 20,000 Americans stationed in the area, significantly outnumbering locals. The camps were used for training purposes, as well as rest and recreation for those troops returning from combat in the Pacific. Paikakariki's steep surrounding hills proved excellent terrain for marching and mortar practice, and its beaches were used to train for amphibian invasions. A tragic incident occurred in June 1943, as US Navy and Marine personnel practiced landings from the sea in preparation for combat in the Pacific. All went smoothly until the third practice on the 20th of June. It was almost exactly midwinter. By 8.30 at night, the weather had deteriorated. A swell rose, and it was very dark. The last boat of the day was disabled by engine failure. As it was towed out to sea, a large wave swamped it, and men were thrown into the heavy surf. Some survivors were pulled from the water. Official reports say one officer and nine men All U.S. Navy personnel drowned and their bodies washed ashore. However, unofficial rumours suggested many more than this may have died. The tragedy was never reported due to the strict wartime censorship in operation. Though the American base in Paikakariki was only in existence for a few years, it had an important influence on the village. For example, Tarawa Street commemorates one of the bloodiest battles of the Pacific War. Many Marines who had stayed in Pai Kakariki fought in this battle directly after the camps were abandoned in October 1943. For rugby fans, Pai Kakariki is famous as the hometown of all-black fullback Christian Cullen, also known as the Pai Kakariki Express. Cullen grew up here, playing his first rugby at the local school, where his determination to win caught the attention of the head of sport, Peggy Trail. He had to win. He didn't throw tantrums if he didn't win, but winning was his thing. And Christian knew that out on the sports field, he was in control. I noticed even then that he had a strong character. I wouldn't have said that he'd become an all-black, but I knew he would do something with his life. You knew there was a sort of fire within him. Cullen's ability was evident from an early age. However, it was not until 1996 when he played at the Hong Kong Sevens, that he attracted international attention. Scoring 18 tries in six games, he was rewarded with the Player of the Tournament Award. Later that year, Cullen made an equally sensational debut as an All Black, scoring three tries against Samoa. It was a relief to get that first one. Zinni, Zinzan Brook passed me the ball and I almost dropped it. I guess I should have been thrilled when I scored, but I was just embarrassed. Then Goldie, Jeff Wilson passed to me when he could have scored himself and I got my second. And the third was a bit easy because we had a five-on-one overlap. This was a good feeling, best I'd had. Fifteen years later, a sign that reads, Home of the Pai Kakariki Express, is still visible as you approach the settlement from State Highway 1.